Alert, alert! Cobra attack! Ready to defiant! It's the G.I. Joe Defiant Complex and it's loaded with firepower. Hey, hey! Welcome to Half the Battle! So, last week I got a big G.I. Joe lot from somebody that had it in their attic for a very long time. Apart from about 20 figures and a bunch of vehicles, there was also a ton of promotional material they kept from the G.I. Joe Club. I should explain. I don't know if there was anything like this in the United States, but in Belgium and Holland, Hasbro ran the official G.I. Joe Club for kids. If you became a member, you could order mail-in figures and vehicles, get promotional material, stickers, a passport, a whole bunch of stuff. And one time, they decided to have a competition. They gave away 50 Defiant Shuttle Complex sets. Sounds awesome, right? Well, there was a catch, because of course there was, because this is Hasbro we're talking about. In fact, the whole G.I. Joe Club thing could be said to have a catch, as it let Hasbro do marketing directly to kids themselves in their own homes by sending promo material. And this Defiant competition would try to dial that up to 11. So what did you have to do to win one of these shuttles anyway? Well, just read it for yourselves. What? Oh, okay, so a few of you may not be able to read Dutch, so I'll give you the gist of it. You had to get your friends together and start your own G.I. Joe club. You had to pick an address for your club, probably the home of the kid who starts the club, and give your club a name. Then you write to the official G.I. Joe club to submit your club. Man, I'm saying the word club a lot. The top 50 clubs with the most members would win a Defiant. But wait, there's more! To make every kid in your club official, you had to send in two star points, that was the European equivalent of flag points, for each member. So better go and buy G.I. Joe toys! Also, you had to include the full name and address of each member. So that was the competition. I have notes! Okay, so the way it's written, the winner who gets the Defiant would be a club, not an individual kid. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with kids, but they can be evil little goblins. Hell, that Comic-Con I was at a few weeks ago, I went with a friend and his two young children. We all had a great time, don't get me wrong, but by the end of the trip, I was looking for something sharp to give myself an emergency vasectomy. My point is that having one Defiant owned by a group of kids is a recipe for disaster. Friendships will end, tantrums will be thrown, toys will be stolen. Dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria! But that's not my main issue here. Yeah, the part where you have to submit every member's name and address? That's a pyramid scheme! Or at least multi-level marketing, which is just a pyramid scheme by another name. Even for the 80s, this seems dicey. Today, this would be super illegal. Well, in Europe anyway, thanks to our strict privacy laws. Back then, man, that's some personal information gathering, on kids no less, that even today companies like Facebook or Google would drool over. And that was the Defiant competition. That wasn't the only one the club had, though. There's one here that's a little less troubling. They gave away 20 generals in a drawing competition. Well, a color in the drawing competition, anyway. This promotional flyer doubled as the actual drawing. You colored it in, then sent it to Hasbro with the inevitable star point and hope you won. I only have this one because the kid never finished the drawing. Now, my original plan for this video, as I discussed on Twitch and Twitter, was that I wanted to enter this competition 35 years too late. Unfortunately, the entry form wasn't with all this paperwork, which leads me to believe the kid who had this actually entered. Though, since there was no Defiant in the lot, I'm guessing they didn't win. Also, I didn't want to have to make up a bunch of people to be in my club. But I do have something else! Meet Operation Colby. This was a mail-in offer where you could get Steel Brigade figures and Admiral Colby. Yes, I know that's Keelhaul, but he wasn't called that in Belgium, he was just Admiral Colby, which was his real name on the file card. I believe this makes it the only G.I. Joe figure from the original line that didn't have a code name. And he was only available here through the mail-in offer, since we never got the USS flag. Sure, Hasbro could afford to give away 50 shuttles, but release one lousy aircraft carrier? No, sir. Not that I'm bitter or anything. Anyway, the competition had an end date, but this offer is valid as long as supplies last. So, technically, technically, this offer could still stand. 
Yeah, that's totally impossible, I'm not delusional, but I'm gonna have my fun anyway, and I'm gonna order myself a Steel Brigade figure. Okay, there are a few obstacles to overcome if I'm gonna do this. For one thing, the figure requires 8 star points. Okay. Oh wait, I have plenty of those already. For another thing, I need to send 5 postage stamps worth 14 Belgian francs each. Those don't exist anymore. Hell, the currency doesn't exist anymore since we switched to the euro at the beginning of this century. Okay, so 70 francs is almost 2 euros, and I do have a stamp for that. It'll have to do. The last and biggest problem is that the address, a PO box, doesn't exist anymore. Obviously. And Hasbro doesn't have a marketing or consumer assistance address in Belgium anymore. But they do in the Netherlands, so this thing is going global. Well, to the next country over anyway. Now, I'm not expecting anything, this is just a fun little experiment, but if I do hear something from Hasbro, I'll make a follow-up video. I think I'll give them a month or so. And that was a look at some of the stuff Hasbro got up to through the G.I. Joe Club in Belgium. I hope you liked this trip down memory lane. By the way, you know at the end of Watchmen where the bad guy says, I did it 22 minutes ago? This is actually another copy of Operation Colby I own. I've already sent the thing to Hasbro in the Netherlands. So uh, we'll have to wait to see what happens. Well, I'll see you next time everybody. And hey, why not like, share and subscribe if that's your thing. Alert, alert, Cobra attack, ready to defiant. It's the G.I. Joe Defiant Complex and it's loaded with firepower. It's awesome. The Defiant's launch...